about Sammy. I wonder what she meant by that. into a corner is putting it mildly, don't you think? I would have thought backed into a corner and facing the firing squad. Well, an uncharitable person might say that she's no one to blame but herself. You must have made her worst nightmare. Xander announcing to a room full of people in front of her husband, her husband's family, that she violated her marriage vows. Well, I can't imagine why she got involved with that guy in the first place. I mean, he's a ticking time bomb. A ticking time bomb with a flair for the dramatic. Exactly. Who does that remind me of? You know what, DJ? I am exhausted. And, uh, frankly, I'm so worried about Eric. Maybe we could finish this post-mortem in the morning. I do find it odd how, with her whole world crashing around her, Nicole singles you out for judgment. You know, EJ, I really love when we keep talking about things that I don't want to talk about. There are just so many questions. For example, you say you saw Nicole Brady stumble into Salem Inn with her nemesis and kept it to yourself. Yeah, well, I wanted to spare Eric. But he didn't get spared, did he? He got it right between the eyes in a crowded pub. It's as almost as if it was staged. Damn it, EJ. It was so brutal, so public, so devastating. I can't possibly see how that marriage survives. Do you? decided for both of us it would be better for me to come home to an empty apartment. You took out all your anger and frustration on this picture and didn't want to talk to me in person. Because I've had enough pain for tonight. Well, thank you. Thank you, Eric, for always thinking about others. I don't really think there's anything either one of us can say. I could change what happened tonight. No. No, because the past is written in stone. And there's nothing that I can do or say to change the fact that I slept with Xander. Stop it. Because Stop I was it. lonely and I was afraid. I don't want to hear it. And I degraded myself of a man who abused me. And you, you chose to spend the first year of our marriage, 8,000 miles away from me, our home and our and our relationship was spent on social media and the months went by where we didn't even get to touch. So here's Nicole. The Scarlet Woman. Bad, bad, bad. And here's Eric. Running back to his good work. Back to a world where he does good for others. And no one asks a damn thing of him. Alright, I don't see how the marriage lasts now that Eric knows what he knows now. I feel sorry about that. No. You know very well I am not sorry to see that marriage end. You know how I feel about Nicole. She doesn't deserve to be with a wonderful guy like Eric, but I am sorry that Eric is in pain. But it had to be done, right? Without making all men without breaking a few legs. Why are you doing this? You know I hate it when you cross-examine me. Cross-examining you? I thought we were just an old couple discussing the events of the evening. Well, then why do I feel like I'm in the witness box and you're trying to blame everything on me? Why would I do that when it's clearly Xander's fault? But it does seem out of character for you to have seen Nicole in such a compromising position and have never mentioned it to anyone. What was I supposed to do? Post it on social media? I mean, 
if I had told Eric or anyone else, I had no proof of what happened inside. No one would have believed me. So you started tracking down the credit card receipts. Nail it down. Make the case. Well, my brother's a smart guy, AJ, but he's a fool when it comes to Nicole. So yeah, I was trying to protect him. <laughs> so you decided to gather your proof. And then in a quiet, private, solemn moment, you would discreetly share what you knew with Eric. But instead, somehow, out of the blue, Xander decides to make a public spectacle of Nicole's humiliation and shame. Now why... Just why would he do that? I'm just gonna leave this here for me to find. Talk about a picture worth a thousand words. You didn't think that would cause me pain. Or maybe you wanted to hurt me, but you didn't need to talk to me about it in person. Because that's one of the perks of a long distance relationship, right? You don't have to own up to what you've done. Oh, God. Right! I'm selfish. I'm sorry. You're selfish. You just weren't here. You decided to go to Africa, and then you decided to stay. And when you did talk to me all you did was talk about the, the, the children and the poverty and the lack of medication and how was i supposed to compete with that all the the babies teething and all these wondering where her daddy is and i'm lonely how was i supposed to talk to you about that <laughs> you, you asked all the right questions how are you how's holly like you, you, you didn't even want to hear the, the answers. You were like a balloon who was just floating away from me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry, but good God. Xander! I mean, if there's any person besides me who hates him, it's you. Don't you think I understand that? Do you really think that I want to defend myself for what I did? How can I? How can I expect you to believe anything I say now? How can I expect you to believe me when I tell you that I love you? <laughs> because I do love you. And I just don't know if it matters anymore. <laughs> I, mean, I just might just have to accept the fact that this marriage is over. But I can't accept, I won't accept you just slipping away again. Because you married me. And you made the same vows as me. And the least you could do is talk to me. Talk to me.